Hey, this is John and Andrea out Hi. in the shop. So today we're gonna change the wick on a kerosene heater. And we so are? You are. I am? Yeah. I never done this what? before, so this is a perfect project for me to tell her how to do it. You've never done it, but you're gonna tell me how to do it. Right. You ready? No. <laughs> Oh goodness! Ladies, pay attention because you know when your husband says, "Well, I don't know about that. That's kind of mechanical." Let's just buy a whole new one. Yeah, you should take it somewhere <laughs> while I'm at work. Then you just go, "Ah, uh, you know what? Happy Wife Vickers told me how to do this. I, I got this." So <laughs> here we go. So this is the typical uh, kerosene heater. It's 23,000 BTUs. They're made by a whole bunch of different names that they all look alike and this was made by Dynaglo uh, but they're all made the same way probably by the same factory in China um, so first thing we're gonna do there's two big screws right there one on each side just one on the opposite you're gonna take it out take it out don't lose it don't lose the screw she's, she's got her magnet pan over there now why do you need to change the wick you need to change the wick because after a few years, the, you'll start getting a lot of black Burning. soot. And if you're burning this inside, it's going to get on everything. Somebody's going to be upset by what it's doing to your walls. Yes. So, uh, just want to show you how easy it is to change them out. Okay, now you should be able to just to grab that cage and lift the whole thing off. Ooh, look at you go. And where am I putting this? Somewhere. Somewhere? <laughs> on the ground. Get it out of the way. Me. All right, so next step, she's going to pull the knob off. Just pull it straight out. There you go. Set it aside. And at this point, you should be able to lift it off of that stem. Yep. Now, there's a chain on here, and it attaches that. So, so I'm just going to let it hang here. Yeah, we're not going to worry about it. Now, so. Ideally, you'd want to do this when your tank is empty, but, you know, who has that kind of time? This is about half full. Uh, so we're just going to... We're just going to deal with a little bit of kerosene. We're out in the shop. That's okay. And that's why we have a box. Yes. We're going to absorb some of that. All right. So I've had this a long time, and there's a lot of prehistoric bat poop in there. So we're going to spray it out, clean yeah. it up, so you can see what you're doing. You think that's good? That's good. Okay. Around this base ring, there's four wing nuts. You don't even need a tool. Just take them off. No, I need a tool. No, you don't need a tool. I need a tool. You're a strong woman. Do it. I need a tool. Oh, I'm a tool. There you go. Those, those are on tight. I can't do that by <laughs> hand. Those are very tight. We got the four wing nuts off, and now you should just lift this straight off the base. No. I need I need a tool. Another tool? I need to, Okay. I need a tool to go okay, up under here. Okay, here's the screwdriver right here. Yeah. There's a lip, honey. Ah. There's a lip. So we're going to get it over that lip. Okay. There you go. Gosh, that did come off. I thought that would. Okay. When it comes off, the wick should come with it. Oh, like you can see, see the wick right here. I can see the wick, but... Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's coming. It's coming. It's, it's very tight. Okay. Oh gosh, there we go. There you go. Whew. Now we're gonna set this base aside and we can work on this piece right here. Okay. This is what the new wick looks like when you buy it. And I've had this one for a long time. This particular one, it fits these different models. This kit happens to have a new igniter. So she's gonna go ahead and change the igniter. What happens is you step on the foot pedal right there and the igniter pops up and lights the wick for you using a couple of C-cell batteries. So she's going to pop that up, hold it in place, push it in, twist it. It's going to pop out like, a, like an old light bulb. So this old one was not working. The little filament had broken, so nothing was happening. All right, so she's got the new one. Again, pop that up, hold it with your finger. 
push it in, give it a little twist. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. Yes, it is. Uh, it's easy. There we go. Okay. Okay. And now she's in there. Okay. Now we'll work on the, the wick. You'll notice the new one has uh, these little, whatever you call them, poles. Yeah. Um, that tips of something are going to go fit in. in the side. So there's the old wick. She's just going to use her fingers. She's got gloves on. And she's going to peel it away from the side. Yeah, and it popped out. She's going to pop three of them out. And then push it down and away. Ta-da! Old wick. You want to look at it? Well, it doesn't look the same as the new wick. So if I line up the old wick and the new wick, this is polyester up here where it burns, and you can see that the old one's quite a bit shorter. And what that means is it can't get as high as it should, it won't produce enough heat, and it's a little more inefficient being down low and produces that soot. And that's what you don't want. That's why you gotta replace them. So she's gonna do the opposite. She's gonna feed it in, and she's gonna look for those little holes and put the pins in. So this ring fell out, and there is a little side that says up on it. So you get it in the right orientation. I'll pull that out just a sec. <clears throat> when you twist the knob and the wick rises, that pin is right here. And this thing just goes up, and so does the wick. Uh, and there's, inside of here, there's these little things that grip the side of the wick so it's not loose. Uh, little, little fingers, little sharp things. So that fell out, no big deal. She's just gonna line up the holes and then those little pins are gonna go through the hole and, and into the frame. So she's gonna just do that in reverse, and fit it in, put the pins through. All right, so she got the, the wick snapped in there. She be able the to pins. Put down there and there. And then I'm going to gather this up just a little bit so I can get this piece There's a on. Bottom ring. Going to weave that through and snap it back in. Uh, that's all that is. And then open it up so it can take on that. Yep. Because that uh, wick is going to have to go around that big piece right there. Oh. Oh. You can do it just goes right along yep. here. So now she's just gonna just leave it on, just like the dress on a kid, right? I was gonna say like putting clothes on a cat, but I don't think that's ever right, so. Okay, it is tight. Yeah, it's so tight. I need to make sure I'm going down the right way wherever I'm going. This, where's this go? I need to be over top of my holes. Yeah, so the the knob is going to be right above the foot pedal. Okay. So I'm just going to twist scoot, that on. Keep scooting down. Get it down into the kerosene. All right, so she's just going to kind of twist it down, encourage it to go on. And then I have to land on, yep. on, the, on the studs. bolts that are coming up. Oh. There you go, push that down. And the wing nuts, when you put them on, will push it down the rest of the way. She slipped it back on. And I got the wing nuts back wing on. Nuts. So then, we're gonna turn this. There goes the wick, and it no. drops back down. Do it again. Boom. Okay. Okay, so now you got And then this that. comes back on top. There's a screw right there. Oh. And I think it went up under that lip and then pushed down. Aha! There we go. Okay, that's there we on. go. And now I just need to get this back on, yep, right? Just so pull that knob off. Oops, pull the knob back off. And then, then I have to get it through the big hole. And that hole. There we go. Mm -hmm. And put the knob back on. And the cage, this has to go towards the front, correct? Yep, a little window. I don't know where I'm sitting at exactly. So. Yep, you're just going to slide it. There's a tab. You see the tab on your side? I see the tab on my yep. side. Slide it over the tab. 
I gotta put the screws in. Tighten it up. That's it. Really? Um, yeah. So move that. Do that. Push to ignite. Push to ignite because I don't have batteries in here right now. There you go. Let go. Now I can just go. Ooh. Piece of cake, right? Not really. Yeah, the hardest part was getting those pins back. They, they wanted in. to come out every time you put it yeah. in. So if you just, you know, you concentrate and you get it in there the right way. Go slow. Steady, go slow. You can get it. Patience. Hope you learned something. Don't be afraid of stuff like this. You're a homesteader. You can do it. So go do it. All right. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you soon on the homestead. Bye, Bye. everyone.